Phoebe Buell, a former Playboy model, singer, and mother of actress Liv Tyler, has recently spoken out about her past affair with Steven Tyler, frontman of legendary rock band Aerosmith. Join Facts First as we explore Buell's revelations about the affair and its impact on her daughter. Phoebe Buell is an American model and singer born Beverly Lorenz Buell on July 14, 1953. Her mother, Dorothea Johnson, founded the Protocol School of Washington, and her father, Harold Lloyd Buell, was a U.S. Navy officer and veteran of World War II. Beebe's modeling career started at age 17 after Eileen Ford, an executive at a modeling agency, discovered her. She moved to New York City at age 18 to further her career. She rose to fame in 1974 when she was featured in Playboy magazine as November Playmate of the Month. She gained additional popularity for her relationships with several well-known rock musicians like Todd Rundgren. She kicked off her musical journey with a four-song EP on Rhino Records in 1981. They were produced by Rick Derringer and Rick Ocasek and featured The Cars as her backing band on two of the songs. Phoebe formed the B-Sides in 1980, but unfortunately the group disbanded in 1985. She started another band, The Gargoyles, in the same year and released several singles. Despite interest from large record companies, The Gargoyles disbanded in 1991 when the paternity of her daughter Liv Tyler was made public. In the 1990s, Beebe took a break from performing for six years. In 2001, Beebe published her autobiography, Rebel Heart, An American Rock and Roll Journey, co-written with Victor Bacris and published by St. Martin's Press. The book was a massive success, becoming a New York Times bestseller, and its paperback edition was released the following year. In 2022, she published her latest book, Rebel Soul, Musings, Music, and Magic, though it's not a sequel to Rebel Heart. It's instead an impressionistic scrapbook of her life and experiences. Apart from her career as a musician and author, Beebe has also managed her daughter Liv's Tyler's career as a model and actress, as well as that of actress Cheris Mickelson. She is currently married to musician Jim Wallerstein and splits her time between her homes in New York and Portland, Maine. Before Liv's Birth during the 1970s, Playboy was a major publication, and its Playmate models were highly coveted. At the time, Hugh Hefner's California mansion was frequented by rock stars who enjoyed the party atmosphere, music, and alcohol. B.B. Mule, a Playmate of November 1974, was one of the girls who lived in the mansion, and her association with Playboy made her a target for attention from rock stars. This led to her becoming involved with numerous celebrity lovers, including Mick Jagger, Iggy Pop, David Bowie, and Jimmy Page. But Buell is most famous for her relationship with Todd Rundgren, whom she first met in 1974. They were immediately attracted to each other, and despite both having other partners, they became involved in a tumultuous off-again, on-again romance. While infidelity was an issue for both of them, their creative partnership was productive. Rundgren played a pivotal role in Buell's career, introducing her to Rick Derringer, who became her producer. Todd would travel frequently, which left Beebe alone in their New York apartment. During that time, Steven Tyler was a well-known figure in the New York scene and often visited. On one occasion, she was summoned to Steven's hotel to rescue him from a wild party. He had consumed a potent combination of drugs that had rendered him unable to walk, and he needed someone to physically carry him out. Beebe stepped in and carried the intoxicated rock star to safety using a fireman's lift. In the summer of 1976, Stephen and Beebe ran away together to Europe. Their romance was merely a short-lived affair based on their intense physical attraction. It was never meant to be a long-term commitment. But fate had something else in store for them. Beebe got pregnant that summer, and they soon found out they were expecting a child. Before that, Beebe had already gone through a miscarriage a few months earlier. Beebe and Todd tried their best to raise their daughter Liv Rundgren as a complete and happy family. Although Liv's biological father was Steven Tyler, Todd made a pact with Beebe that he would be the child's real father no matter what. They chose to keep the truth about Liv's paternity a secret to preserve the family's harmony. This was because Stephen's drug addiction made it impossible for him to take care of a young child during that time and for much of the decade. Discovering Her Biological Father During the initial 10 years of her life, Liv Tyler had been under the impression that Todd Rundgren was her biological father. But prior to discovering the truth, Liv had an epiphany. When she was around 8 years old, she first met Stephen Tyler at one of Todd's concerts. Stephen had bought her a Shirley Temple at the bar, and despite not knowing who he was at the time, Liv immediately developed strong feelings for him. She even bought his posters and talked to them. 
In August of 1988, she was 11 years old and was looking at a poster of Steven Tyler, frontman of Aerosmith, on her bedroom wall. She realized that Steven Tyler could be her biological father. Confident about her gut feeling, Liv made the decision to express her concerns to her mother, who then felt compelled to be honest. BB explained to Liv the relationship she had with Steven that resulted in her birth in New York City. Despite knowing that he might not be Liv's biological father, Rundgren still signed her birth certificate, gave her his last name, and raised her as his own. BB and Todd had agreed that if the issue came up, they would tell her when she was 18. Upon discovering the truth about her paternity, Liv began to develop a father-daughter relationship with Steven. She eventually switched to Tyler as her last name. In 1994, while still in high school, she appeared in Aerosmith's Crazy Music video alongside Alicia Silverstone. In 1998, Liv and Steven collaborated professionally on the rock ballad I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, which was featured in the movie Armageddon. Liv attributes her intense connection to Steven to their DNA and genes. She quickly realized why she felt so connected to him, especially since she bore a striking resemblance to both him and his daughter Mia Tyler, who was born just over a year after her. Liv recalls seeing Mia standing at the side of the stage at one of Steven's concerts and feeling like she was looking at her twin. Moving on. Liv Tyler has explained she harbors no ill feelings towards her mother for keeping her father's identity a secret. Liv acknowledges the emotional complexity of her story, considering her mother was young and there was some ambiguity surrounding her biological father. Nevertheless, Liv insists she was always loved and well taken care of by her family, which was something she cherished. After the reunion of Liv and Steve, Buell and Rundgren eventually parted ways. However, Rundgren still continued to play a significant role in Liv's life. Liv had the privilege of growing up with a diverse range of parental figures, frequently switching between her mother's, grandmother's, and her aunt's, uncle's, and cousin's homes in Maine. She acknowledges both Rundgren and Steven as her fathers. She expresses gratitude towards Rundgren for being a father figure. She describes him as a constant, affectionate, and reliable presence in her life, despite the fact that he and her mother are no longer together. She also mentioned she used to visit Rundgren at his Woodstock home in the 1980s. Although Steve wasn't present during Liv's formative years, he seems to be making up for that by being present in the lives of his grandchildren. Stephen has been an active participant in the lives of Liv's children, namely Milo, Sailor, and Lula. In fact, Stephen and Liv's sister, Mia, were present when Sailor was born, six weeks earlier than expected in 2015. Stephen arrived moments before Sailor's birth and even helped cut the umbilical cord. Although all the grandparents share a close bond with Liv's kids, Stephen's interaction with them is distinct from that of a typical grandfather. Liv mentions Stephen has a playful and fun demeanor, often making weird noises with his mouth, particularly animal noises. He's also very creative and enjoys adorning himself with various jewelry and accessories, making him a magical, wizard-like figure to Liv's children. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of the story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.